Good morning, everybody. I greet you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, we just thank the Lord for this wonderful, wonderful day that we've been blessed with. A new day to honor Him, a new day to glorify Him, a new day to worship Him and to seek His face. I really pray that you're all well and uh, and blessed and that uh, you've had a good um, start to your day. And may it be a, a wonderful, wonderful day ahead um, where the Lord will bless you and keep you and hold you in His hands. But as we begin this time, let us come before the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Father, we come before you this morning and we thank you and praise you for this beautiful new day. Thank you for new opportunities, new um, things to do, new ways to celebrate and to honor and to praise you, and new ways to touch and to change lives around us. Father, may this be a day where you are glorified, where you are magnified, where you are exalted. And may it be a day where we know and, and sense in such a special and wonderful way that you are our Lord and Savior. Father, we just ask you to be with us now and to hold us in your hands. We pray this and we ask us in your mighty name. Amen. The reading this morning is taken from Romans 16, verses 1 to 16. But I'm only going to be reading verse 1 uh, to 2. And uh, I would encourage you to read the rest of the the chapter and uh, read from Romans 1 to 16 on your own to just see the many people that Paul greets and thanks for their help for him. So just reading Romans 16 verses 1 to 2, it reads as follows. I commend to you your sister Phoebe, a servant of the church of Sincrea. I ask you to receive her in the Lord in a way worthy of the saints and to give her any help she may need from you. For she has been a great help to many people, including me. Thanks be to God for his word. As you read through this um, chapter 16, the beginning of chapter 16, verses 1 to 16, it would be interesting for you to underline in this passage, every time you see the word representing the idea of work, of service, or of helping. And only once in this chapter does the apostle refer to any of his colleagues by titles or adjectives which may indicate a position of leadership. But words that indicate service are frequent. And you see, this is typical. In the New Testament, the power belongs to the Lord, um, as described in verse 25. And so, so does the real authority, that Jesus is the Lord. In Romans 10 verse 9, we read, We are his servants, oh, sorry, his workers and his servants. You see, Phoebe is called a servant, were deacon and a helper. Priscilla and Aquila are fellow workers. Mary has worked hard. Eubane and our fellow workers in Christ. Tryphena and Tryphosa are those women who work hard in the Lord. While Persis has worked very hard in the Lord. Timothy is a fellow worker. There's a Greek word translated hard work in this chapter and toil or labor in other chapters. It's used in, in Matthew 11 verse 28 when Jesus said, Come to me all of you who are weary and burdened. And again it is used in John 4 verse 6 where it describes the following, that Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, was sitting down at the well. You see, make no mistake, the Christian needs to make hard work an essential part of his life. We need to, to make sure that that's an essential part of our lives. And that is hard work in Christ's church. There's no place in the Lord's vineyard for idle hands. You see, Jesus said, my father is always at his work to this very day, and I too am working, in John 5 verse 17. And Paul also exhorts Christians to stand firm and let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And that is found in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58. You see, the Lord doesn't want us to treat his service as a hobby or a spare time interest. He wants each one of us to be really busy in his service, working and toiling hard in his church. Hard work is never easy, and it wasn't for Jesus, it won't be for us, but it is worth it, and it's not in vain. Let us pray. Lord and Master, it is my joy to serve you. What do you want me to do for you this very day? Allow me to toil and to serve you as you wish. I pray and I ask this in your mighty name. Amen.
wishing you all a very special and wonderful day. May you be touched and may the Lord be with you and hold you close. Goodbye. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of I will make their darkness bright Who will bear my light to them Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord Is it I, Lord? I I, the Lord of wind and flame, I will tend the poor and lame. I will set a feast for them. My hand will say, Finest bread I will Till their hearts be satisfied, I will give my life to them. Whom shall I send? Here I am.